All right, hello and welcome back. Here we go. Let us press this button to go to the next turn. And um, so we could we we could go over here, but we know that there's likely more coast and tundra. Um, so as weird as it is to kind of loot to take a single movement not onto a hill, we're gonna do that. Interesting. So we get to put a triple outback station here, unless, I mean, we're going to have to think about districts too. Let's do that. Eiffel Tower is almost a must with the Aussies. Yeah, I was hoping that we could get that this this particular game. We'll see. All right, let's um let's let's move here so that we Signe pick up that. Is a oh, it's Signe. It's okay. a square mile tiger trap made up of massive obelisks riddled with jagged spears. And yes, they will cut your pretty face. Um, oh, damn. Now we have to go here for the uh, goody hut. I wanted to go over by the spices, but we'll just have to take this for right now. Um, so let's see. We get to work only one of these tiles. So we could maybe look at a second city if we wanted to take advantage of any of this. But it is tundra. It's kind of a bummer. You don't think Outback Station can go on tundra? Is that true? I'm going to be bummed out. Desert, desert. Oh, you're right. No tundra. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that kills it. That kills my mojo. Thanks a lot, Mustang. Thanks for bringing me down, brah. Just kidding. Appreciate the information. <laughs> Alright, what'd we get? Ooh, and a scout. Alright, well, with the scout, let's just finish exploring the rest of this coast. Because this is a really nice... Get some fish... Yeah, we are we're kind of very much limited by this tundra. This is a really awkward position. Russia gets faith from tundra. Yeah, indeed. Indeed and hello uh Manlis. How you doing? Um boy. I really just want to go here. Although it looks like we can double move over here versus this is probably more rough terrain. Fine. Interesting. Floodplains. So, um, boy, yeah, if we would have moved, it would have been pretty interesting. But we definitely have a, uh, a an excellent second city over here somewhere. We could yet, yet again do a city found here and have an excellent uh, harbor. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, I would also like the spices to be in our opening reach. Um, let's let's just do this. Let's exp yeah. Let's see what we got down here. So if we found a city, we actually do pick up the bonuses. But I don't like founding cities in Tundra. Island map. This is uh, this is just a continents map. Forty gold. Ooh. So this city would be quite productive. Tons of hills here, so our appeal's going to go to shite. But uh, yeah, we could uh, one, two. Damn, no district here. That would have been nice. Good morning, it's too early. How you doing? Ooh, barbarians. Nice. Okay, so we found him there. I think in our last Australia game, there was a lot of tundra too. That's kind of interesting. So no really good tiles here. Even adding in production here, that's kind of the best one. So that wonder is not really doing much. It does, a, you know, give us appeal though. Probably the most useful thing that it's doing. Uh, let's just keep going this way. Glad to finally catch me at the beginning of the game. I know, right? Beginning of the game, so much fun. So we're going to grow in one turn, add the horses. That's lovely. Uh, four turns till our slinger. Oh, 
Okay, well that's one we would normally get anyways. Um, and we do have to deal with this. So we might as well start that now. Good news is we have some extra exploration going on. Um, so I could move here. Ooh, city-state. Alright, well with the city-state, let's go towards it. This is a weird, weird map. Last Aussie game you started, you start at the bottom of the map also. Yeah, I feel like if we've done that no a few times in heaven, now. Then when I die, I want to go where they went. Alright, how do we meet the city-state? There we go. Uh, and cool, we will get a free pantheon from them. Uh, and we may... Why do you have four production on a hill? Is that is that is my favorite wonder here? Because Leventa, I'm afraid you have to die if that's the case. I think we're gonna do a very quick early expansion and uh, take Leventa because I believe my favorite wonder is right there. Either that or there's a resource on there that I haven't seen. Um, and let's go into archery. Especially if we're gonna bully somebody pretty early here. Love to kill them before we get before they get a holy site, but that is going to be very difficult to do. This keeps going. All right, we've got our slinger. Um, we want the slinger to get the kill shot on the spearman here. Um, and it might be appropriate to get a builder and then a settler. So we're going to get a pantheon in about 11 turns. Missed the very beginning. What map? Uh, no, we didn't We didn't pre-select any other civs. This is just a small continent's uh, deity. Right? Deity. Um, we could also just get another Slinger and go try to take Laventa before they get a Holy Site District. Because they're going to override a tile that I don't want them to. I know it. This is also Crazy Hill Zone, which is going to make our District suck, but our production great. What speed? Standard speed. Standard. I'm thinking about the Builder so that we can get the horses and the cattle... Get God of the Open Sky in there. But the Builder doesn't add any production. I guess it would on the deer. We really need to expand to the deer. I would like to culture bomb before we expand into a tile that we're going to culture bomb. So the next expansion should go here and then maybe one of these. So I think let's get a Builder. We might be able to get three cities along this so far. Interesting layout. So, let's see. I want to hit this guy. Otherwise, he's going to come and attack our slinger. Let's do it like that. And then our archery should boost with this kill. So he came and attacked us anyways. Um, the one thing we don't want to happen is for him to kill himself. Because then we don't get the boost. But I can't take this attack. If I go here, he's probably just going to attack again. So I think the safest thing to do is just... Um, I think it's heal for a turn. Grab Code of Laws, grab the extra strength, and then kill it. Because with him being that low, he's probably going to move back into his uh, little home there. Um, and I'm going to start... Eh, let's just heal. So he's probably going to move there. Yep. At his best, man is let's the take our government. Take, this, take discipline. Justice. And urban planning. Urban planning is a must. 
in this game because we don't need the gold or the faith and uh, we've got a pretty low production capital at the moment. So then with the extra strength, we can kill that. Oh, almost. Damn. I thought for sure that extra five strength would get us there, especially with the with the heal turn. Oh well. All right, let's go after a craftsmanship. Um, man, I would love to kill these guys before you get your holy sight. <sighs> Lots of goody huts. This is this is like my dream, but not really with Australia. We have to be pretty specific about it. All right, now we'll take the boost to archery. That finishes in a turn. Take military tradition. It's gonna suck defending against barbarians with all this tundra. Are we on our own continent? May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Ooh, bananas. And more cattle for culture bombing. Sheep for culture bombing. Damn it. That's really annoying. And there's another one here, too. Um, all right. So we have to deal with... Unless this belonged to this... Yeah, unless, unless that scout belonged to that uh, camp that we already killed. It's kind of annoying. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, damn it. Should have bought another slinger. Should definitely have bought another slinger. That's a, That was a mistake. Look at me learning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that sucks. Um, because if I would have bought another slinger, we could have had two archers instead of... Uh, I need another 30 gold to upgrade and yeah, just... I've said it before, I'll say it again. 140 gold to buy a slinger and then 30 to upgrade is 170 gold archer instead of 200 buying them outright. It's a bit of a mistake on my part. Okie dokie. Um, this is just such a random spices tile. It's nice though because it's a new luxury. We're going to need to start getting military, too. I'd like to rush Laventa. So maybe we... Uh, maybe we get some military next. But we are going to get um, the boost to craftsmanship. So let's, let's remember to switch out of this. We don't have much else to improve. We're, we're going to be able to do this stuff with animal husbandry. I guess if we want the sugar online. This just adds more food. It just winds up being a food base. Mining is eventually really, really important. But uh, maybe we want to reveal iron. So we'll start with mining. It's going to be a while before we get our first campus. It really is. Because we're going to want to expand, take over Laventa. So let's move here, take our promotion, um, and we'll take volley early. And then we can move within our borders and heal next. Damn, all the goody huts. Jeez. So someone's either got to be up here or down this way. I think, I bet it's down here. Some excellent territory if we can get there, though. It looks like we're going to have a pretty um, spread out empire, though, which is kind of sucks from a defensive standpoint. Like a long, lanky sort of a thing. Elephant tiles, pretty nice. 
Hey, Booyah. This is just small continents. We've got double scout here. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this guy. Can handle pretty much any scouts. And then... Mysticism. State workforce. Lots of cultural boosts. Scout gets a promotion, which is nice. Alright, so, yeah. So we missed out on a culture bomb. That's really annoying. I'm mad that it went to the crabs. Let's move here together. Uh, and then I think we want to start cranking out military. Tempted to get a settler. So 14 turns and we could found a city over here. Ah, oh, it's probably that. Let's get the settler first. Sucks because they're going to put down... Yeah, see, they've already started their holy site. So we're going to be stuck with a holy site that we don't necessarily want. But other than that, it's a pretty good city location. Ooh. Ooh, and someone has met them. Auckland is amazing because shallow water tiles provide one production, an additional one when you reach the industrial era. So it makes these crabs really, really good. Um, we might even want to consider with Auckland in the game just founding a bunch of coastal cities and taking um, taking the pantheon that gives us production from fishing boats. Definitely something we should consider. Um, I mean, there's a lot of hills here, but this is all rainforest. So I think I'm going to take ranger. Yeah, let's take ranger for now. It'll help us get through all this stuff. Um, be a little bit rough getting back, but I kind of just want him to explore. Now, when you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Okay, there's a spearman. Yeah, I thought that you were gonna do this. See, I really wish it would have just grown there. It's really dumb, and I of course cannot do anything now with this stupid builder. Barbarians are so annoying. Pasture Pantheon also works well with the Aussies since you can culture bomb for pastures. Yeah, that was my initial um, my initial thought was the god of the open sky. Gives us an extra two culture in our capital. No additional culture in this city. Um, but Laventa, possibly maybe another city up here. I don't know. Finding finding ways to increase your production without mines with the Aus with the Aussies is is a really good idea um, because you don't want the mines, especially early, to take away from your appeal. So let's go after bronze working. I want to find iron. It's also another place where we can get some production, and it'll help us plan out our cities a little bit. Oh, I bet they've been met too. Ooh, we're the first to meet them. So we get some extra science. It's a really nice boost. Trigger the Eureka for masonry. Recruit a great admiral and train a heavy chariot. Oh, one of those things I can do. Ooh, and they have spices. But they're not on a coast. Why don't, we, why don't you want mines to take away appeal early? Because... Um, Australia gets a bonus to their districts based on the appeal of the tile. So campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, theater squares get plus one for just being in charming and plus three in breathtaking. So if you, for example, put as put your let's let's say this is this is breathtaking, right? So you're gonna put a campus here so that it's a plus one campus for the adjacency. And then plus, what is it, three? So it's a plus four campus. But then I want to chop these trees and put a mine here. Well, I just knocked this down to Charming Appeal and took away two more science. So you have to be careful because mines ruin your appeal. So yeah. 
So this goes from a plus four campus down to a plus two, and then maybe just a plus one if we did mines all around it. Might be worth buying the deer tile so that we expand into the cattle. It's either we expand here and buy this or buy this and expand here. It doesn't matter to me. Either way, I just want to culture bomb this. If they add the deer, I'll buy the cattle and we'll culture bomb and have all this territory. So how are we the first to meet Seoul but not Auckland? What does that tell us about this map? Um, let's take a tortoise. All right, and we can move and shoot and move. Oh, uh, we are zona controlled. Lame. So, yeah, what do we do? I think I want to go this way, yeah? We'll go here. Somebody's got to be nearby. So Auckland, we're definitely going to want to leave in the game. Um, Soul's bonus is kind of okay. It's not the most amazing, but it's also not bad. All right, that guy killed himself. Let's go here. So we're going to move and shoot, and then we get to Culture Bomb. So we, we wasted this expansion, unfortunately. But now we get to do this. And then you culture bomb everything. Nice choke point. Barb camp by cap. Where? Unless it's here. Damn. So, I mean, this is very fractally. South of Auckland. Okay, there you go. Choke point, yeah. Yeah. Decent decent choke point in here somewhere. <sighs> Do we destroy La Venta? I really don't want the holy site. All right, guys. Um, good morning, Quickie. You're not late, man. You're, you're right on time. We just started. This is an important decision. Divine Spark is always great. It's going to give us extra scientist points, but we haven't really used it much, and I don't think we're going to start now. We can disregard any of the ones that give us um, Holy Sight stuff. So we don't really... We're not going to mess with that. Although I do think you could have a decent... Um, I think you could win a religious victory with uh, John Curtin if you wanted to. Um, it's not Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. We're sort of debating between God of the Open Sky, because of pastures, and God of the Sea, for the production from fishing boats. Um, there's also a fair amount of bananas, and we also have spices. And sugar. Oral tradition might straight up be better culture than God of the Open Sky. Because we have sugar already, and we know that there are a bunch of bananas over here. So this would be one culture in the cap versus two. We would gain a culture here with the spices. Um, and then there are more spices up here. More spices. Well, we're not going to get those because we'll probably... I don't think we'll take soul over. And Auckland already expanded. They're really in an annoying place. I like this river a lot. There's a pasture there. Well, not going to get that one. So one, two, three, four, five culture versus one, two, three, four, five. So it's like the same difference.
You haven't you haven't been asked so far? What do you mean? Time to introduce Auckland to some free trade. I want to keep them though. I really like so let's let's think about this a little bit. Where are we putting cities? So we already have another couple production from crabs and then Auckland. If we took God of the Sea and got the Auckland bonus, these could be two food, three production, and three gold tiles. What do you think, Cry? Cry, what what pantheon would you like to see me go for in this game? I didn't mean to ignore you. I'm so sorry, my friend. We could put a city either one of these. We're not really going to want harbors. So we're probably looking at a city over here. Possibly another city in here. And then another city where La Venta is. <laughs> he likes God of the Sea, everybody. Everybody cry likes God of the Sea. He feels better. I'm glad you feel better, buddy. <laughs> um... You agree with God of the Sea, but only because of Auckland. I agree. I agree. I wouldn't even consider it, honestly, if it wasn't for them. But also, it helps our capital quite a bit. It'll help this city quite a bit. This one could potentially work those. Are we playing fractals or inward sea? No, this is just a continents. God of the Sea, get those harbors going. Do not do something nice and then laugh about you. It's uh, We're laughing out of love, my friend. Nothing but love. Um, why am I on a love kick? I'm talking about love a lot today. <sighs> After all that, I almost think it's just God of the Open Sky. If only for the early culture... Really want to get to Outback Stations. Fra Fractalicious Continents, indeed. Like, if we saw some sea resources in here, I'd think about it. But these are probably wasted. Might be able to use one of them. Do something new. I mean, it does make these crabs quite good. It helps. It hel it does help our uh, our cap quite a bit. I'm really torn on this. I don't feel strongly about it. I don't want too many harbors. I really don't. I almost always take the pastures. That's true. All right. I think I think the correct thing is either oral tradition or God of the Open Sky. But we've only done this in one other game. It was the Norway game. And because Auckland is in the game, we can maybe prioritize some sea resources. And we don't really have to worry about settling on fresh water. So... Straw pull? We can do a straw pull. Let me pause the video and we'll do a quick straw pull. Okay, the masses have spoken. And we are going to go with God of the Sea. Um, the reason I think the other two are correct is to get to our outback stations faster. But uh, this will be fun and new. So we're going to take God of the Sea. There we go. Do I have Belgian ancestry? I mean, I'm very German. I don't know specifically. Uh, I don't. My. Like, my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa's parents came right over from Germany. But that's kind of as much as I know about my heritage. So. But I just think it would be delicious. 
Some like actual Belgian waffles. Like real Belgian waffles. Mm. Hmm. Auckland, you know you're really in my way, right? When do they come for when and how do we know that? Um, it's, we've got like, we've, there was stuff at my grandma's. Um, like that was just, I mean, it's recent enough in our history that like my grandma knew. Um, and when did they come? I don't exactly know. They came and like moved right to Wisconsin. Very, very Germanic. All right, so what are we buying? got eight turns till our settler could save for another one but I also think that buying a, an archer is fine punctuation matters <laughs> yeah sometimes you apparently don't need it you know all the time uh, so we want to buy this tile just for the culture bomb so that we don't waste any border expansion we would like to get to the crabs uh, I'd also like to improve the crabs, especially since we're already working them. I'd also very much like a monument for the culture. I think let's buy an archer and probably buy that tile. You guys gotta sit sit tight real quick. So there goes Stonehenge, turn 24, pretty typical. No settler sting, no, no really good early game. Wow, we're surrounded. Uh, I probably should have just moved him. Jerusalem. Someone's met you already. So somebody is like, is Norway in the game? We have not met anybody. And I'm wondering how the how those guys I have been met already. In creating a lasting legacy because bronze will last for thousands Are we gonna die if we get triple attacked? I think so. Let's move there and be safer. We have military units that can come up and help. Ooh, okay, so we did find some iron. Yeah, this is an excellent, excellent city. I think we're just going to found right there. Um, and then, oh, 60. 60 gold for that. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Costs keep going up. Okay, so we have our iron. Pretty much have everything we need down here. We want more builders to get these other boosts. So let's go get pottery. See, see where that leads us. Holy mother of resources. Indeed, dude. And this will help us uh, get those boosts with the stone and stuff. There we go. Robin voice. Holy mother of resources, Batman. What? The ground. It's very fertile. All right. Katarine. So she is very far away from us. Um, don't have... I mean, this is nice bonus resource town. And good ivory. We tried to sneak up here. Be an interesting strat. But she's already over here. It's going to be weird. I think we're just going to have to take advantage of this land.
Okay, yeah. So we're living. Let's go ahead and just fortify. And we can start to bring our archers over. Um, can two archers and a warrior take Laventa? Do you think? It's certainly possible. There is a camp here. Okay, so there is a resource here that we don't know what it is. That's why the production is so high. Alright, let's... I hate to buy this stupid tile. It's really dumb to buy that. But it just gives us... It gives us four free tiles. That didn't feel good. My borders. <laughs> Are you saying that there's a uh, this this looks sexual in nature? Of some kind of uh, sort. Oh, somebody, somebody dead. Somebody dead. All right, we're gonna need our archers to help with this. Three turns till our settler. Still have so much more to explore here. It was four for one, so it takes the sting. I know. We bought one and we got four. There were there were discount discount tile tile drugs this time. Alright, um we really want this amenity need to go away. Oh, damn it, and we also forgot to change away from craftsmanship. So bad at that. Why are you expanding here? Oh, I didn't micro this well. Like, at all. I don't want to add more food on the rice. We just don't need it. We have so much food already. What we need is production. Really wish they'd expand to the deer. But we may need to uh, just get sailing. Yeah, I should have I should have microed that better. This thing is spawning out of control. We need, uh, we need help. And I may have to move back just till we get our archers over there. Yeah, we can't even embark yet. Alright, I think we're sort of done-ish exploring. I wanna I wanna round this out and also go down here. This is a pretty insane first expansion. Pretty happy about it. Um, yeah, let's bring this guy back around. Maybe come over there. And somebody else is dead. Holy cow. I mean... <laughs> Does it get any better than this? We still get the fish resources. Start with a really nice array of tiles. It's just excellent. And in one turn we can embark. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me. But life at sea is All right. better. Let's go back towards pottery, finish that off. 
Don't have much money. But we're going to finish uh, social policy next turn. Really wish I would have micromanaged that a little bit better. Jeez. Out of control. Thankfully, Leventa's helping us. Um, I mean, that is a lot of damage. Okay. Boom. There's craftsmanship. Finishes it. And if we can add in that second production, these are nice, nice tiles. Give us some extra gold. And we can also change our policies to uh, production of units. And uh, yeah, that's fine for now. Good enough. Yeah, we're going to have a pretty rich capital as far as those with those crabs. So we like that a lot. All right, what's going to happen here? Good job, Leventa. Clay must feel happy. So many barbarians. Stop. Go away. This one's a pro this one's a problem. The rest of them should be okay. All righty then. Um, let's go after writing since we finally met somebody and it's boosted. Irrigation's going to be tough to improve. I really, we really need the amenities. Um, so we're here. Next turn we can settle. She whiz. So we have to move, otherwise we're dead. Um, I would love this promotion, but I also just want to kill this stupid thing. Taking free range damage is a bad, bad idea. Okie dokie. Second city. Life is about to get better. Do I want to think about this anymore? If we went here. Hmm, it's just too far away. This is spaced out enough, I think. And we, and we can still... Can still get a city over here. Which would not be bad. Desert tiles, but yeah, it's fine. We do that. That way, we uh, start working the spices. They're going to grow in four turns. They've got good production. It's pretty terrific. Uh, I would like to start with a monument, but we might just need the military, especially since we're running the um, the discount, the cheaper cheaper military. And then they should hopefully help. So, yeah, we actually don't want to be doing foreign trade. Let's go after, uh, build any district. Oh, we got that from a, a thing. It's like, that's not boosted. Yeah, if we would have microed a little bit better in those opening turns, I, th I would feel much better about this. Ooh, pearls. Maybe we can find more pearls and make Auckland's bonus even better. Now. Do we live if we shoot this? I don't want to take that risk. All right, here we have to promote, otherwise we're dead. Again, let's take a volley. I don't really want to move and attack either. Maybe Laventa will continue to help us with this guy. Okay, and another archer. Now what are we getting, guys? Um, monument, granary. 
Monument would be nice for the culture. Could get another settler if we wanted. Maybe go up here and start these guys. Galley wouldn't suck either. Just early exploration. But I think we have that the exploration covered in the scout. I could get another builder. For like the iron and the quarries up there. I want that two culture. Almost doubles our culture. Yeah, give me the monument. Let's start with that. Damn, look at all these sea resources sea resources. So if we if we bulldozed Seoul and just put them here. They could get a bunch of sea resources and a pretty great harbor. You're like granary, you guys like settler. So many different opinions. I love it. I, I just don't know where to put the settler. Is it over here? Is it is it not? All right, maybe it's not monument. Maybe it is just builder. Because um, if we go over here with the builder, then we we can finish up boosts such as the wheel, masonry, ironworking. All of those, like five turns to get a bunch of science is a really good idea. So we can boost masonry, wheel, and ironworking. It's like 60 plus another 80. It's like 120 science for, uh, for five turns. So yeah, let's do that. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, All right, opinions. I hope our warrior doesn't die. All right, we're in rough terrain and across the river. Swear to God. I don't think we're going to get a flat boost to irrigation. And I want to get the, the sugar online. So I want this builder to do sugar, iron mine, and a quarry. Amenities, boost, boost. Triple boost, actually. Oh, man. Yeah. Some nice coastal cities in here. I like it. Aha! Nice. And then this guy didn't die either. I'm going to move here so we can move and shoot next turn. Try to clear this stuff out. Ooh. Our Pantheon's looking better and better, guys. Look at this. This is where we want a city. Look at this. Whew. All that food. Get some production from sea resources. Catholicism. There are... French are at it already, guys. Spreading their... Spreading their religion. Alright, let's heal up a turn or two. Cough, cough, settler. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like my logic, too. <laughs> Where in the world would I put our settler? I don't know so confusing. This game is hard. Alright, I think we can... Well, almost. Almost dealt with that. And then they moved into... Yeah, that's fine. Surprised it didn't prioritize that, but apparently it pri prioritized the production over science, which is perfectly fine. Alright, squeeze this out now. So 
irrigation in in two. Damn. Somebody is on a rampage. Alright, so what's our plan? It's turn 42. My brain has gone hard work for now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Alternative logic. As long as it's not fake news. Um, so this is kind of dead, dead territory. As much as there are really nice resources, bonus and, and whatever, it doesn't make up for the fact that this is all Tundra. So, I think Leventa does get bulldozed i do we, we still need to figure out what's over here so let's do that what is our plan destroy la venta just for the territory get another settler what if we did that what if we went settler settler Settled like here and over here and just kind of co like cornered off this area from from her Wish uh, Auckland Wish I could get rid of you Jerusalem kind of sucks soul I is my huh? I hate I hate getting rid of scientific city-states Because the bonus is quite nice Might not need them Although there are two cities here. One, two, three, four, like five. Yeah, I, yeah, Leventa definitely has to go. Do we need more to be able to get it, though? They're not starting walls yet. We have triple archer, a warrior, another archer. Do we need a spearman? Maybe we get a spearman and then a settler. Just to have a backup melee. Might not even need it. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Plan sounds good. All right, so let's do that. Fix our amenities, add a little bit of gold, and then this guy can go over here, which is lovely. Um, all right, we have to be really diligent about getting these. Let's start with iron working. Let's not go over the halfway point. Watch for barbs spawning at home, I know. That's probably what I'm most worried about. Oh, you've got uh, ivory there. Okay. You guys just heal up. And you over there. Hmm. Well, that's kind of lame. That's real super duper lame. Cannot explore. Jeez. Is it Germany? Is Germany just going to steamroll this entire game? Like what is, is happening? Important to have a happy and engaged workforce, as it is to have a um, bottom line. Conscription is maybe a good idea. We have five turns left on this spearman. Um, yeah, let's run conscription. Let's take the gold advantage. Four gold. 
And then iron working, perfect. So that'll boost it. And the wheel. So this takes us into the classical era. So does this. How have we not discovered a second continent? Huge. Huge. So maybe we don't want swordsmen quite yet. Maybe we don't finish this off so we don't boost into the classical era. We might be able to get some uh, di like campus districts down before we do that. Let's get wheel because it's boosted. Four turns we expand there. That's perfect. Well, if this is the end of the continent, which it certainly seems to be, I guess maybe the scout can uh, go back up here then. So it looks like we've explored everything. The other thing we could use the scout for is like fog busting. But we can uh, we can explore with him. It's his job. So she Leventa has two archers. All right, these guys are healed up. They're building walls. Oh, damn, they are. Well, I'm getting there as fast as I can. These guys had to heal, so. All right, um, so I want to improve that one. Could do... Just put a campus here, or just put it over on the, on the hill and never improve this stone. Well, let's let's deal with where cities are going to go first. So, Leventa gets bulldozed and then shifted here so that we can put a city in here. How good is that? There's enough territory along this river for three cities, I think. Which means I would want to spread them apart. I also have really nice appeal with the mountains and things. This is a really nice campus. And that's an insane industrial zone. So just move Laventa down one. Like, uh, like there. And then put the other city here. Or save that for a uh, campus district. Actually, that's a better campus district. Do districts in the tundra. Where's this first one going? Do we want to forward settle? Do we want to go all the way up here with it and leave it to be kind of vulnerable?
Let's look at maybe. Are we building this city? So I don't want to override the sugar or the ivory. How is that not maximum appeal? So if we found it here, that's actually really good appeal. We could just drop in a uh, like a campus or something else. So probably look at another city there. Would you do another one here? Or would you move it over here? I guess there's no point for this one to be coastal. You like the random elephant noise over my careful deliberations? <laughs> Hello, elephants. You're allowed to be as noisy as you want. If we moved... If we did this... We could squeeze in this. And then put in coastal city there. And would you do this? Get all that, have the fish have double fish, actually, in a harbor. And then bulldoze and move soul. Is this too much? That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cities. Yeah, I think this one's better on the river. There's no point in it being on the coast. I like this because you can put a crazy campus there. I deal with city-states much differently than you do. Explain, Booyah. Explain how I do it differently than you. Just because you befriend them and I like to destroy them. <laughs> you rarely conquer and almost never raise. Sometimes I just like to move them. <laughs> soul, soul. The reason that soul would need to be raised, they don't. They don't even have a water source at all. Like this, four citizens is a lie. It is a lie. Try to be Caesar, and yeah, it's true. It's too much for you now, and you haven't even started drinking. Well. It's fine, Cry. You'll start soon enough. It's, it's not raising, it's resettlement. Indeed, I'm, I'm fine with the people of Seoul. They can come with. Whoa. What? Somebody is real angry. Oh, what is happening? Catherine, can you win a game, please? Abandon all we have and move two tiles over. <laughs> but it sucks otherwise. This has a one citizen cap. Like, I know it says four, so with a granary, it's three. But it's just, and, and it's a free campus. But it's just bad. 
So do we go after this one first then? Again, so when you're looking for initial city expansion, you want quality of tiles without improving them. So if we settle this city, we get a four food, one production into two food, three production, and a, and a gold, and then potentially expanding into spices for just more craziness. Like the, the quality of initial tiles here, really, really strong. So we can, we can bring the settler up here, settle, and just not worry about it for a while. It's going to grow. It's going to produce things. It's going to be excellent. Must be Germany con conquering city straits and blitzing France. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's got to be Germany. All right, so then this settler needs to come all the way over here. And I could even justify getting this other settler in too. So we're going to start a settler after this spearman. Take Laventa and then have these three cities in, in place. It's not bad. Never get to work these crabs with this city though. I think it's fine though. This is a nice kind of our choke point. We don't have to worry about this stuff yet. We can just do these, fill these other cities in, and then go from there. Scout could guard? That's true. Where is Scouty McScout face? You could you could come back and guard. You could also go see what the heck's going on up there. Meet, meet us a new friend. But getting that city location is, uh, I think, the most important thing to do. Let's keep getting settlers, especially since we have to refound Vent La Venta. One turn. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign. Okay. And that got us a free envoy as well. Let's get masonry. So we did get uh, some free production from Auckland on our way to being suzerain. And we start this. This guy doesn't really have much of a shot. All right, I think let's declare. We're not, this is kind of the best shape our military is going to be in. So let's do it. No warmonger penalty, very nice. Usually I like to instantly kill units, but uh, I don't really have that option. This is a holy site, this is a hill. We can shoot without it. Let's move in. Ooh, give me that builder. Ow, ow. Okay. Ooh. Don't kill me, please. Pillage for faith? What do we need faith for? Jesus. Ah, you Every nation lives jerk face. Exchanging. So we lost an archer. Could build another one before this settler. I think we might want to do that. For the lulls, yeah, lulls are good. So actually, I just I just don't want him to produce walls though. I don't really care about the faith. Just 
Just don't finish your walls. This is a uh, this is a hill, by the way. This is a very productive jungle. Pretty crazy. Camp gives money. Yeah, I think so. I think we've I think we've determined that. Move forward, my wayward settler. When wasteful war shall statues overturn. And broils Okie dokie. Um, we pretty much are forced to advance. Got a ways to go on our civics tree. Um, so we may want to just put down our campuses wherever we think they might be going. Um... This appeal never goes down. So having an adjacent campus I think is fine. Yeah, district planning with Australia is just weird. It's very weird. So they're never building an industrial zone, I don't think. Gonna get a harbor. So yeah, I mean, why not just put the campus here? Man, districts in our cap are pretty bad. The other thing we could do is try to do like a district triangle over here, but what would we be building? Maybe that's better. Or do we try to double up with these guys? Have them join. So if we did campus, campus. Oops. Campus, campus, something. Grassland for districts in the plains next to the pastures for the out outback stations. Yeah, that's true. Outback stations surrounding this cattle are quite good. That is true. Those are pretty good outback stations, especially with the uh, planes. Yeah, I don't know. Might be too fancy to try to like double up on districts and things. We might just want to take the natural appeal for the boosts early on. All right, then I guess we just put the uh, put the campus here then. It's either here or here, but one, two, three. So it's a good harbor. You could potentially do a harbor as well. Oops. Put a city in here. If we needed the extra city, I suppose.
Eventually this is gonna be a mine. It's gonna kill that appeal. But we could we could run that as our campus for now. It's either that or we put a campus down here on the tundra. So we just eat the tundra tile. And there's nothing around it that's going to diminish it. So it's just a plus three campus the whole game. Or wait, what is it? It's not three. Plus one. Ew, plus one is bad. Yeah. Really only gets good with the breathtaking, huh? Hey, Zygmunt. How you doing? I like this bonus. And we can put a... Oh, we can't place districts in the floodplains. Balls. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Well, I don't really care about astrology, though getting to our harbors would, wouldn't be bad. Since, uh, since we have a couple good ones already. Alright, I guess it's just a campus here for the one. Don't worry, everyone, you're here. Good. We were worried. We were just talking about you. You're late. No, you're not. You're fine, dude. Uh, okay. I just don't see any better options. Am I missing something, you guys? I just don't see how it gets better. Okay. I don't really want to buy a tile for theirs, but might have to. Just, I think getting that plus three campus. Let's do it. All right, at least those are locked in. We can get some discounted campuses. <laughs> it's true that it's true that thinking hurts my brain. That is accurate. All right, so now we can move on. Um, we might want to start towards something else. Let me just get iron working. We do have one iron. That way it gets us closer to machinery, just in case Germany is on a complete rampage up here or something like that. Watch it be Persia. Right? Boom, classical era. Only two cities. Yeah, give me that science. Good suggestion and cry. Got it. Got a pillage, especially as long as long as they are um, 
surrounded and not healing. We can take our time and just pillage everything that we that we can. All right, so there's our iron working. I think let's maybe start towards currency. Just be able to get our districts. So again, then this city has a decent initial tile in the bananas and then grows into more bananas and things like that. So initial quality of tiles, quite good. Oh dear, hello. Oh, they're building units. That's not nice of them. All right, I'm gonna start down the other side of the tree this time. Okay, good enough. And we get a builder. So this one we're going to raise. I just don't want that dang holy site. So. They're on a desert hill, huh? Um, let's leave an archer, I guess. So 10 turns, 2 turns. You're going to try for your first religious victory tonight. Good good idea. Who, who are you going to play as? What can you pillage? Oh, the road. Hey, look a fork. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I the channel is growing. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see it grow. Oracle's gone on turn sixty. It's pretty fast, Oracle. Go see what's happening with Bordeaux. Can you give me open borders. Um, I might be willing to pay for that. I think I am. I want to go see what's going on. See who's beating her up. Yep, the goose. Yeah, we're just using the one mod. It's a, it's just a UI mod, but it is excellent and helpful. Yeah, we need to get our science underway here. Hate not taking an early uh, civilization. Really, really sucks. Okay, so then we've got this guy. I'm just going to go there. And, uh, boy, do we just do more Settler Spam? I think so. I think we'll get a Trader first. Trader, Settler, Campus. I guess we should back away from currency then. Let that boost since we're, since we're getting there. And then maybe go get Machinery? No, I don't want to get Machinery. I don't want to go to the Medieval Era at all. At all. Let's go get our Harbors.
kind of want another builder to get that other boost too, but it's only... Uh, it's actually a fairly decent boost if we were to add in a second crabs here. Probably work it. Yeah. Definitely work it over that, so... Builder? Also buy one, maybe. Maybe we just buy it. <laughs> and the goose, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome in. So you've been away for a while. Uh, what brings you back? Is there an advantage to not advancing your era? Uh, good question. Hey, look a fork. The reason the reason we do we don't always rush into advancing our era is that your district costs go up every time you advance an era. So we don't want that to go up. I mean, it's eventually going to go up, but we want to lock in as many districts as we can before then. So yeah, you just kind of want to be careful about it. it was it's perfectly like fine to advance. That brought down the Roman Empire. With Oracle's gone. Their windows were shut. Wow. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. This almost never gets built. That is interesting that somebody wonder spammed it. Alright, what's going on? What's going on here? Are you seriously losing to barbarians? First of all, why do you have catapults? Oh, she's got Stonehenge, okay. Do we mobilize and try to kill her? That'd be fun. All right, let's go get our first government. Boy, that's a slow first government. <laughs> he learns from the best. I don't know who that is, Quill. When you play on multiplayer, your buddy usually tries to tech up as fast as possible uh, and destroy him with thermonuclear weapons. Yeah, that's kind of fun. And take the sandbag into account from now on. Nice. Yeah, I mean... God, if she can't handle that and we could get some units up there, we could instantly take Bordeaux. Got holy sites. We're going to inherit holy sites. I don't know. We, we kind of have enough to do without it. And we have a ton of cities to settle. She's also just really far away. So if things go bad, we can't really support our troops. Might go Arabia. Arabia is amazing, yeah. Super, super good. Um, Rabia is quite fun. Oh, pyramids. Pyramids on 63. I mean, I would think that they'd be at war with another Civ, but look. She just seems to be getting owned by barbarians. I don't see anybody else that's really threatening her. Um... I don't know. I don't really plan on taking her out. If anything, I'd take Jerusalem out. Yep. The, the, the Arabia does have a strong, unique unit. Take Seoul, yeah. All right, if we are gonna take anybody, incendiaries is the way to go. Guess let's bring let's bring our troops up to at least like these cities. Once we get roads, I'll feel a lot better. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. What do we say? Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über What did we say? Über Burgund und manche mehr. 
Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. So. Uh, first thing we want to do, and he is double our tech. Wow. Yeah. This makes me definitely not want to take her. I don't want to, I don't want to just, I don't want to deal with Germany. Let's send him a delegation, improve our relations. You can do that before they even, uh, before anything else happens. Saw the new civs and it got you looking again. Uh, oh, no worries, man. Um, yeah, we're, we're playing one of them. So they're, the new civs are pretty fun. We just won with Poland last game. Um, that was actually quite fun. I enjoyed Poland. And the Ginger King must pay for his trans transgressions with the blood of his people. Uh, yeah, I don't want to fight him. Although, he's probably going to snowball out of, a, out of control. I mean, we, we know four city-states, and like several of them have died already. So he's probably got just a ton of cities. Let's look. He's got five cities already. But you know what? No city-states. So that's interesting. So he wasn't the one taking the city-states. Huh. I find that to be very interesting. Let's take the boosted ones. Still think I might buy a builder. So far. So we were right about Germany, but for the wrong reasons. Found some desert. I feel super far behind. I feel super, super far behind. Being at turn 66 with only two cities is not good. But it will get better pretty quick here. You play Australia. What are their pros and cons? Let me show you in just a second, dude. Um, so Australia is really, really strong. I'm not going to go fully into it. They get a bonus to production. They get double production if they get declared on or liberate a city. Um, they basically have no freshwater concerns because they get extra housing for coastal cities. Uh, and then you get extra yields from uh, your districts based on appeal. Got a unique uh, infantry. And then the outback station, when we get it, you'll see how good of a tile improvement it is. It is a food and production based tile improvement, which are the things that I like. I like both food and production. Okie dokie. Um, I really want. Let's, I'm going to transfer you here for right now. Probably going to move it to the new. Do we freeze? I think we froze. I think we froze. There we go. Booster production is crazy once you get declared. Yes, I agree. Double production is... Turns out pretty good. Is 
Turns out it is pretty good. All right. Next turn we get a city. And let's improve the ivory right away. <laughs> Are we singing Disney soon tunes now, guys? Is that is that the plan? Is that, is that on the agenda for the day? Um, yeah, I don't want this, so I'm just going to skip it. I'd even rather have, like, go to Seoul and get extra production. I'm hoping that, I mean, this is probably too far, but I don't know. River Valley as well, perhaps. <laughs> Thanks, Sigmund. Thanks for the host. Spiritually, as well as physically bigger than a man on foot. Alrighty, um, I could go ahead and buy that, oh no, we've got it coming in three turns. So let's see, three turns, then we move over here, we get the boost, and then we could uh, lock in harbors, because we have a couple nice harbors. Alrighty, boom, give me Newcastle. And let's move this. Uh, so we can't go to Newcastle. But we could go here and get some extra science. So we start with... Uh, no, incorrect. Start with food. Grow in four turns. And then add in this tile. Even though this has more overall yield, you still just want to do it this way. You're over here day drinking watching me play some Civ. I love it. it sounds like joy. Let's start with a monument. We need to start getting monuments, start catching up on our culture a wee bit. Also chop there. Maybe I buy him a builder for some early growth. Settlers are up to 560. I don't see us buying one of those. <laughs> you guys. Quickie, you drinking too much this week, man? Is that what happened? Jeez, these barbarians are actually out of control. Uh, I think once again, I'll just pay this now. It's a lot at this stage of the game. But in the long run, it's not too bad. And I would just like our uh, our scout to explore. Okay, soul got walls. Yeah, so we so we can go to soul and get some gold and science. So I'm gonna do that for right now. We boost currency. We get money and science. Things that are good. <laughs> Sigmund, that's nice of you to say, dude. And friends come in from Orlando. You hadn't seen in almost a year, so you went pretty hard. Yeah, that happens when you see old friends. Okay, and we're still on this. And the road helps with the war. Indeed. Indeed it does. That's such a nice tile. Alright, so we've got... 
these two cities. I guess we just start backfilling, or do we go here first? What's the best initial quality of tiles? I think I'll just do this. I have a uh, quickie's talking about washing down his his hangovers with hair hair of the dog. I have a uh, I have a bitters from a place in Colorado that is called Hair of the Dog. It is a delicious delicious bitters. It's supposed to help with your hangovers. I don't know that it does. I don't drink that much to get hangovers these days. All right, and we do want to switch out of celestial navigation. It's kind of on the fence. But uh, I don't know where to st I don't know where to go. Do we need machinery in order to take soul? Do we just friend up soul? Soul must go. I just hate giving up the bonuses to our campus districts. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa. Game. Calm down. Yep, exactly. Here the dog is waking up and drinking after drinking the night before. It's a weird fractally con continent for sure. All right, so if Soul must go, we should worry about getting these other cities in there too. So we have five, technically five cities. That'll be six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, you had rice, beans, eggs, bacon, chorizo, cheese, and salsa. Yes, please. Give me all the chorizo. Chorizo is so yummy. Chorizo is like one of my absolute favorite things. It needs to be like neon orange. Divide and rule, a sound motto. <laughs> Unite and lead, a better one. So has a bunch of troops. Alrighty. So, for our first government, um, I think we're going to need oligarchy. I really do. Classic Republic is kind of better, but we honestly just need the military policy. We need the discount, we need the production, various ones. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, we've been, this has been a single video for entirely too long, so let's put a cut in here uh, for the YouTubes. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks, thanks for watching. Join us over at twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic if you'd like to see this live in the future. Thanks for watching.